day looks it can be an epic day uh, as you know windsurfers always are looking for perfect for fa forecasts uh, to, to score different conditions and different spots and yeah, it looks like uh, I've been waiting for this forecast for maybe I don't know maybe 11 years I've been setting there once uh, really really good sometimes you work it uh, after that that session uh, I remember I was sailing with Sima and and uh, killer fish that time uh, I would check I would try to check if I had some photos uh, but yeah it looks like today uh, it will be quite good not as small as it has been uh, sometimes uh, because the wave is so soft when it's uh, that that small but today it looks like it can be quite quite good maybe some sets of low high uh, and yeah it's perfect it's a perfect wave uh, it is uh, you need to be in the right tide and the, with the right conditions and the right as well so it looks like today it can be good uh, i will go to the workshop i will work a bit in carlos workshop and then i will with the tide i will try to check it and let you know problem is i don't have anyone to film uh, so i will use the gopro on my mouth to have some clips and let's see well i just arrived here in the workshop in carlos sosa workshop where it was proof before uh, I will show you what I have to do today and and then after my work I will uh, check the, the the spot and and see how if, if it works the workshop is is up here upstairs uh everything is closed now because we are working up uh, i show you the the workshop it's an old board from bjorn uh i think he used this board in in maui and yeah welcome to the workshop um i'm here uh today i need to prepare the the pvc the sandwich for the for the deck and here yesterday I was uh, laminating, I was doing the deck lamination of, of the board and we need to finish that board. Uh, so yeah, uh, I, will get, I will work a bit, it's not as, uh, it doesn't look, it's, it's not as, as it looks normally, just sailing, I had to work a bit and uh, after my, my work is when I go and try to, to have my sessions. I'm trying to not miss anyone, but uh, yeah, it's uh, always always like that. First work and then enjoy windsurfing. So that's it for today. Uh, I'm leaving uh, the workshop and check the spot. It's, I'm a bit late uh, because uh, it, I was uh, yeah I, I was late with uh, with everything. Uh, not not uh, as it was planned. So I'm I'm a bit. Uh, in a hurry with the conditions uh, because it's not the tide is, is is starting to be late for the tide. So uh, I've been leaving the workshop and I will take the camera, the GoPro. I will prepare my gear and and go to see how are, how are the conditions. Well, I just checked the spot. There are some sets. It looks quite good. I'm so excited to go. So what I will do, I will prepare my four Sal Pro 4 and my CS Custom boards down the line. I shaped uh, uh, the last uh, the last summer for me, uh, and I will I will film a bit with the GoPro. So but I hope you enjoy the action, and after the session, I give you uh, my feedback and um, my impression about uh, that spot after many years. <laughs>
Wow, 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 well, um, yeah, really, really good. Um, it was, it was gusty because it's, uh, winds, uh, it, the wind is a bit offshore. Uh, but there, there were some big sets. There are a few surfers in the middle. It was a bit, uh, tricky. But yeah, I, I really enjoy it. Um, but I have to say, uh, I remember that spot with the, with the wave a bit more powerful, a bit more uh, perfect. I think the problem it was uh, the wind it was too strong. Last time I was there, I think it was with four seven, and and today I was with four zero. So uh, I think the wind was too strong, and 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 that makes uh, that makes a flatter wave. But yeah, it was so nice. I enjoyed it a lot. Uh, I was expecting a bit more. That's the reality. Uh, I was expecting, uh, yeah, more perfection. Maybe I don't know if it's because my level uh, improved since the, since that the, the last time I was here and 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 I wanted a bit more. Uh, but I had a few aerials, a few turns, a few a few nice turns. I I twisted a bit my ankle uh, because I wanted to go out of a wave and, and, and the wave pushed me in and uh, yeah, I had my front foot in the strap. I hope it's not uh, too much uh, and it's not a hard injury and a few days I can go back to the water. But yeah, uh, I hope you like the action. Um, thanks for watching and uh, remember I have uh, the dates of the training camps here in Gran Canaria. I also uh, you can uh, watch it uh, and, and, and see the dates in the Instagram. I don't know if I can post it on the comments. I will post uh, the dates in the comments with the, with the photo if it's possible. Uh, and yeah, if you want to join, it will be a pleasure for, a pleasure for me to, to, to coach you and uh, to help you to improve a bit your sailing. And this year also we will uh, do again a stage uh, with pin, point seven in, uh, in Fuerte, in the north of Fuerte in november so yeah there are there are the the stages i will do uh apart from competing here in gran canaria and tenerife it happens uh, it's not confirmed yet uh and yeah uh, had to go because i need to pick up my daughter i'm running always uh people who know me i'm uh, i'm always running running and running uh, uh not much time for me uh to be relaxed on the beach but I'm, I'm i'm doing my sport my sessions in the water so it's it's perfect enough for me so thanks for watching bye